What's going on everybody? Today I would like to share the knowledge how to create a trigger which you can fire up on demand and clear it on demand. The following video will also instruct you how to set which trigger is dependent on another trigger. This will lead you closer to either understanding what is the root cause of the problem or at least show you a core event what is happening with the system. The fastest way to fire up a trigger on demand is to use Zabbix Trapper item. This is not an agent related item nor an SNMP related item. Let's show you the whole setup. At first I will go to configuration, templates and create a new template. The name of the template will be fire up trigger on demand. Template group modules and I will hit the enter to apply. Going now to the item section, creating a new item, item name, symptom, item, item type, Zabbix trapper, item key, symptom.key, type of information, numeric, application, weather. Hitting the enter to apply. I will open now the very same item and clone it to another item. This another item will be called a summary item and the item key will be called summary.key. Hitting the enter to apply. Now going to the configuration hosts. I will create a one dummy host. Host name will be application1. Every host in Zabbix must belong to at least one host group. I will assign it to a pre-existing host group, applications. The IP address of the host does not matter. Going to templates tab and I will link the template fire up a trigger on demand, hitting the small add button to actually link the template and then the big add button to add the whole host configuration. Everything now is prepared, I must let the backend to know that there are new instructions on how to execute the monitoring. This can be done by initiating the Zabbix underscore server minus r config cache reload. Otherwise I need to wait one more minute. Let's recap once again what we have here. We do have a host with the name application1. This host has two items, two trapper items more precisely. These items are waiting for someone to feed them. To feed the trapper item you must use Zabbix Sender Utility. It is available on all platforms. On Windows it is usually coming along with the Zabbix underscore agent D binary. Here it is. I will open now command prompt and launch the help for this utility. At the very end of the output there is a sample on how to use this command. Let's try to write our own command. Zabbix underscore sender minus z here must be the address of Zabbix server or proxy. In my example I must use the IP of the server where I executed the config cache reload. Minus s the actual host in Zabbix where you want to deliver the metric. Application 1 minus k the item key to store the metric inside host. To be 100% sure about the destination I will copy this host again, go to the front end, insert it inside the search field. The host appears. Click. What are the options to store a metric in this host? Items. Type Zabbix Trapper. Apply. Two items in total. I will grab symptom.key and put it in the command. The metric I will deliver is number 20. In the output please ensure it prints preceded one failed zero. I will deliver another number to my secondary item. Let's take the exact key. Open up the last command from history and set a new destination by replacing the item key. This time I will deliver a number 43. Pay attention again to the output, failed 0. Let's observe the values in the frontend. I will use the search field again 
I like it because it's a reliable way how to get fastly to latest data page for this particular host. I can see the latest data is there. Now I will create some triggers on the top of these items, going to the configuration, templates, opening triggers section under my custom template, I will click create trigger, add expression, select symptom item, I will use the default function last and set a really weird trigger expression which looks for number 20. Trigger title will be wind is blowing, severity for the trigger average, hitting the enter to apply. I will create now a second trigger, add expression, select summary item, trigger function will remain last and I will look for number 88. The trigger title will be storm has landed. Severity for this trigger will be high, hitting the enter to apply. Going back to the SSH session and reloading the Zabbix server's configuration cache so the backend instantly knows this new logic how to fire up the triggers. Now at the front end please open monitoring latest data page. Observing the values, the symptom item shows already the value 20. I think the trigger should be in the problem state by now. Let's find out by pressing on the host, go to problems, entering full screen mode, the filtering seems right, the page is clean, hmm. Here's the thing, we use the function last in the trigger expression. In this case the trigger will be evaluated only when a new metric comes to the item. What can we do right now? I can send another 20. Bringing up a command from history, delivering. Pay attention to the output, proceeded 1, failed 0. And now in the very second I reload the page, I can see there is a trigger in the problem state. I will feed the summary that key as well by sending a number 88. Refreshing now the problem list. We see two problems on board. What if one problem has a higher meaning and it should suppress the other problem? To configure the trigger dependencies go to configuration, templates, open section triggers for our sample template, open a trigger with the lower meaning, click on the dependencies tab and set who's the boss. And the boss in this scenario is storm has landed. Update the configuration. This time we do not need to reload the configuration cache for the backend because it is not related anymore to how we execute the monitoring. Now going back to the problem list I can see the core event and by clicking on this arrow button I can see the child trigger is tied with this event. One last test. What happens when the higher meaning trigger goes away. Let's feed the number 89 to the summary key, going to the front end and reloading the page. There is no trigger in the problem state about the storm. Now only the wind is blowing. Ok that is all I wanted to show today, hope you like it. In the meantime remember to stay creative and see you next time.